Hey everyone, I'm Sajjad and in this new tutorial, we are going to make this nice logo animation together. I'll also show you three useful and popular effects in After Effects. So don't go anywhere, let's begin. First, I start by creating a new composition and name is main. I set the duration to 30 frames. Okay, next I right click on the timeline, go to new and choose solid. This will be the background, so I name it BG. Okay, now I look the background layer, so I don't move it mistake. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the first letters of my name, S.W. I adjust the size using the character panel. I think a font size around 450 looks good. Let's bring the letters a bit closer together too. Then I center the anchor point by pressing Ctrl Alt Home and finally use the Align panel to place the text in the middle of the composition. While the text layer is selected, I go to the layer menu and choose Auto Trace. With these settings I press OK. This feature automatically creates max shapes based on the alpha channel of the layer. After that, you'll see the new mask appear on the same text layer. From the effects and preset panel, I search for the Vegas effect and drag it onto the text layer. In the effects control panel, I set the stroke to mask pass. I make sure the pass is set to the mask one. I set segments to three. I'll explain why in a moment. Then I set leg to O. Change the blending mode to transparent. Change the color to the one I want. Set the white to three. And finally set and the opacity to one. At second O, I turn on the stopwatch for both length and rotation. Then I move to two seconds and 20 frames. Set length to 1 and rotation to around 70 or 75. I press U to reveal the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Now I turn off the bottom text layer so I can see the result more clearly. Let's talk a bit about the segment option by increasing its value. For example, from 3 to 5, the number of starting point that shape the layer S increases. In other words, the effect will begin from more spot at once. Next, the rotation setting. If the value is set to all, the effect pass stays still with no rotation. But if you give it a number like 70, the effect pass starts to rotate and both the starting and ending points move together in a circular motion. Next, I duplicate the mask layer twice to pressing Ctrl D. For the second layer, I set the Vegas effect to use mask 2, which is the for the later W. And for the third layer, I set the pass to mask 3, which represents the dot. Now that we've learned how the Vegas or Vegas effect works, let's move on with the tutorial. If this video was helpful, I'd really Really appreciate a like. Now I pre comp the three Vegas layer and name the new composition Vegas. Okay, 
After that, I press Ctrl D to make a copy of this layer. I select the bottom layer, press Enter and rename into Shadow. From the effect and preset panel, I look for CC Radial Fast Blur. and drag it onto the shadow layer as you can see our text now has a glowing shadow or highlight around it in the zoom section if you chose bright the rays or glow becomes more intense but i leave it on the default setting you can also adjust the amount to make the glow stronger or softer now I turn on the text layer we turned off earlier. Since I know the Vegas layer ended at 2 seconds and 20 frames, I go 10 frames before that point and set a keyframe for opacity at O. Then, one second later, I set the opacity to 100. I press the UK to reveal the keyframes and make them easy ease. Looks great so far. Now I select all three layers and press S for scale. At the start, O seconds, I set the scale to 50. Then at 2 seconds and 20 frames, I set it to 100. I actually forgot to turn on the scales keyframes at first, but I'm not cutting this part out because it's important to now. These little mistakes happen during the process and that's totally normal, so let me do it again properly. I set the scale from 50 at 0 seconds to 100 and 2 seconds and 20 frames. Then I press F9 to easy ease the keyframes. This helps the scales animation feel smoother and more natural. Now let's move on the one of my favorite effects, CC Light Sweep. I apply it to the text layer and drag its handle to the left side so the shine line starts off screen. Then I keyframe the center properly at the right moment. Next I move forward in the timeline, drag the handle to the right so the shine line sweep across and exits from the other side. I select the keyframes and apply easy ease to smooth the animation. Let's preview the result. Maybe if I move the keyframe a bit future in the timeline, the effect will stand out more clearly. I'm adding a short line of text at the bottom of the screen, adjusting its size and opacity using the character panel. If you're interested in text motion, there are two other tutorials on my channel, one created without any effects and the other using a preset. I've added both links at the end of this video and in the description below. Make sure to check them out and compare the result. I'm sure you can create something just as great or even better video on creatively. At the end, if you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. See you in the next one. Bye.